Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have a very exciting review of the Google Nexus 6P. Alright guys, so the Nexus 6P was originally released in October of 2015. It is currently now June of 2016, so pretty much a full six months to seven months later from the release date. And this phone is still very competitive. Uh, don't just take my opinion. If you get online and start looking at uh, different reviews and opinion pieces, even get online on YouTube, you'll see that the Nexus 6P is still very competitive. Um, it's a great phone, well put together, and it's aged very gracefully. Um, one of the really cool things about this phone is that it comes unlocked, so there's no carrier BS that other phones have, which is the first plus, but also the fact that it's six months past the original release date, you can get some really great sales on this phone. Uh, for me, I chose the used phone route and I actually used a website called BH in Photo. Uh, they're actually stationed in New York and it's really cool because if you get it shipped to a state that doesn't have a physical location, you don't pay any sales tax. So I was able to get this pre-owned uh, 64 gigabyte version that when it was brand new, it was 650. I was able to get it for $400 with no tax, which is really great. Um, and for me, I plan on using this phone until the new one comes out and selling it. So I bought this for 400 flat and probably October, November when the new one comes out, I'm probably able to sell this phone for anywhere from 350 to maybe even 400 again. So I'm gonna get, you know, six months of use out of the phone and really not pay anything out of pocket because I was able to wait. So. From a value proposition of anyone out there looking for a new phone, you can definitely find some great sales, um, whether it's BH and Photo, Amazon, eBay, even Best Buy. Uh, strictly talking about value, this is a really great phone. You can get some really good prices on it. So definitely a plus in the value category. So some of you guys might be nervous about getting a phone that is pre-owned online. I've actually bought numerous things from BH and Photo, so it's a fantastic site. I want to show you guys some up close shots of the phone so you guys can see. Uh, the phone is in excellent condition, um, no scratches, fantastic phone, really enjoying it. And I was able to save a good amount of money by doing this. And the money I save basically is going to cover the depreciation of the phone. So like I mentioned earlier, I got this phone for 400 bucks and you know, when the new phone comes out, I can probably sell this phone for, you know, 400 to 350. Um, love the phone. The one thing I will say is the phone is kind of slick, uh, beautiful finish. I do recommend getting a case. Uh, the case I chose to get, I got off Amazon and this is a Spigen case. I think I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sure you guys will blast me in the comments. So that's fine. So great case, um, it's not a hard case, uh, but it's a great case. It's really gonna protect you from you know minor drops and uh, scratches. So great case, and as you can see, when you put the case on there, it's still a very you know light and thin device. So definitely do enjoy that aspect of it. One thing I wanna show you guys is how fast the unlock is. So like I mentioned earlier, I just kinda wanna show you guys what it is, so I kinda wanna get the angle so you guys can see. So I'm putting my phone, finger on there, now, unlocked. Super fast, right? Let's do it again, so, boom. It is instantaneous, so I truly love how fast it is to unlock this. Um, especially when you're pulling it from your pocket, it's super easy to, you know, boom, unlock. You know, boom, unlock. It's super fast. Uh, the one thing I will say is that when the phone is laying flat, on a table like this, it can kind of be annoying because you can either you know put your password in there or you can have to pick it up and hit it like that. But as far as that goes, you know, hey, I definitely do enjoy the unlock feature on that. It's definitely a huge benefit and it's definitely super fast. Let's look at the software and really what's the heart of a Nexus experience. So prior to getting this phone three weeks ago, I would, you know, see reviews about Nexus and then say, oh, you know, this is a pure Android experience. And I was like, hey, man, I've been using Android for five or six years. What are you talking about? I know what Android is. 
I didn't realize I had no fucking clue what Android was until I started using this phone. Uh, let's talk about it real quickly. On most phones, you're going to have Android as the base software, right? So Android. Then whoever made the phone, the manufacturer, is going to have their software on top of the Android. Then on top of that, you're going to have the carrier software. So you have these multiple layers of software that actually impede, you know, you getting straight to the software. Um, and it really just slows down your phone. So if a phone has four gigs of RAM, but you're using half of it on, you know, carrier stuff and half of it on manufacturer stuff, you're slowing down your phone. Um, you don't even really realize it uh, until you get to, a, you know, an Android phone, which only has, you know, a Snapdragon 710 and three gigs of RAM, but it's probably faster than brand new flagships because, hey, you're getting straight to the guts of it. Um, the same model comparison for an Apple phone, you know, any Apple product, you look at an Apple product, you're like, hey, you know, the specs on the paper aren't as fast, you know, they aren't as good as, you know, the competitor's specs, but hey, Apple's making a device, Apple's making the software, it is, you know, customized specifically for the device, it's going to run faster. And that's what you have here, I mean... Without the skins, you know, and I, and I was so reliant on the, on the Samsung skins. I've been a, you know, big time Samsung fan. But this is, you know, what Android's supposed to look like. You know, it's it's pure, uh, straight to the point. Everything you need's right there and it's super fast, you know. So, okay, Google. What is the capital of Spain? Madrid is the capital of Spain. So I'm saying it's, it's super fast. Okay, Google. What's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow's forecast for Madrid is 70 degrees and partly cloudy. See what I'm saying? It's, it's super fast, it's fluid, and not only do you have a fast experience now, every month Android Google releases a software patch that you get first. So you don't have to worry about you know, the hacking every month. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come through. Any you know, problems, vulnerability will be taken care of. So you're going to have the most secure Android experience by using a Nexus device, which is, to me, huge perk, huge benefit. You know, it's hard to put a price on that, you know, security. Uh, some manufacturers, not going to name any, are pretty slow with updates. They're going to have this problem with the Nexus phone. Um, also, big thing to point out is every time they, you know, do a complete up where, up, you know, upgrade, like right now, we're on Android M. It's going to be Android N next. The first people to get the updates are going to be the Nexus phones. Uh, I used to be so frustrated with my Samsung because, you know, I'd get the phone and then someone would, you know, drop an update on the new Android and it'd be like, you know, rumor mill. When's it going to come out? When's it going to come out? When are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? You know, first it has to go through Samsung, then it had to go through AT&T. Then finally, you know, eight, nine months later, we finally get it down to the user level they bought you up a new version of it. So it's super frustrating. And really there's no guarantee they're gonna even support you uh, if you have you know, you know, another type of phone and it's not a Nexus, so definitely a huge plus. Um, I'm kind of going on a rant, but I'm just telling you guys like from experience, from somebody who had no clue like what the hell they were talking about, you know, this Nexus experience is completely different. It's highly enjoyable, highly fast, and this is the way that Android's supposed to be. This is how you can, you know, in my opinion, beat an iPhone because, you know, it's seamless, it's pure. It literally is pure, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so, in my opinion, the software is a fantastic plus. I really do enjoy it. All right, guys, so in the past, the camera has been one of the downsides of the Nexus phones, but with the 6P, they've done a fantastic job. So I kind of want to jump in and show you guys what I'm talking about. So you just hit the camera button right here. You can see, boom, how fast it pops up. And that's really important to get good photos is, you know, the fast camera. So I'm just going to take a couple quick ones. I'm just going to snap away at the mic, get some really up close ones. So you guys can see, you know, what it's like to get some really up close photos and how fast it focuses. And this phone uses a laser focus. So basically it's bouncing the laser off to get the distance and it makes the uh, program calculation 
to do that. So I took a lot of photos and I kind of just want to show you guys some of the photos right here so you guys can see. And these photos that I just took super fast came out fantastic. Um, I believe this is a 12 megapixel camera from Sony. Uh, fantastic camera. And, you know, most of the photos that I've taken on this uh, through testing have come out, you know, pretty amazing. So just like this. I really do enjoy it. Um, another really cool thing is the selfie cam. So click this and now I'm, you can see myself and what I'm recording on. And you can, you know, take photos really easy. Uh, and then let's look at them. So yeah. So eight megapixels on the front, which is fantastic. Um, you know, in the past it used to be one megapixel cameras in the front, but now eight megapixels is really fantastic for a phone. So I really do love the camera, um, the speed, the quality, um, you know, dark lighting, light lighting, you know, it's a really fantastic camera. I really do enjoy it. Um, that's just a quick summary to show you guys, but you can look online and other things too. And it's pretty universally accepted that the next 6, 6P is a great shooter. And that's, you know, through my testing, kind of the same thing that I've experienced. So really do enjoy the camera really strong point for this phone. The thing I want to talk about on this Nexus 6P is how fantastic it is to have frontward speakers. So you guys can see you have a speaker here, right here, and a speaker here. Um, it's going to play a video from my channel. Today guys, we have a great review of the new Google Chromecast. Guys, um, hopefully you can kind of gather that. But having speakers right in front of you, throwing the sound at you, completely changes the media consumption experience. In conclusion, guys, the Google Nexus 6B from Huawei, let me get this right, Huawei, Huawei. Um, I'm not even sure I've seen people pronounce it multiple ways. But anyways, the Nexus 6P is a fantastic option for anyone out there looking for a phone. Um, this phone was a powerhouse in 2015, and in my opinion, and many other reviewers' opinions, this is still a powerhouse in 2016. Uh, fantastic phone. You can get some fantastic sales on it. I'll link some of the uh, sales below in the uh, description of the video so you guys can check them out. Um, feel free to check them out. But um, I really do enjoy the phone. You know, great battery, great screen, great speakers, fast processor, and you're getting the pure Android experience. So it's hard to beat that. And a really good value. Anyways, guys, thank you for taking the time to check out the video. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them below, guys. And if you want to see more great videos like this, different reviews, commentary, uh, anything for the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate the support. It means a lot to me, guys. Uh, and hope you guys have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you very much, and enjoy.